This is the inside set of details on the president's continued travel plans. Sources say that after fleeing to the Maldives, Gotabaya Rajapaksa is reportedly planning to travel from the Maldives to another destination. Now, initial reports were indicating that that initial destination would be another Asian country. We look to confirm if that detail is still true. Remember, he arrived, arrived in the Maldives earlier in the morning, about seven hours ago. Let's go over now to my colleague Purnima to understand more. Purnima, I'm given to understand that even when uh, Gotabaya Rajapaksa landed in the Maldives uh, earlier this morning, the entire capital was under heavy security. Now we're receiving news that he may soon leave to a different country. Could you bring us more details? confirmed that, uh, in fact, uh, President uh, Gotabaya Rajapaksha had uh, tried leaving the country four times. There were different flights booked. One was, of course, to Dubai, and he's reportedly planning to uh, leave to Dubai from Maldives is what we've been, uh, we've been hearing. Remember, this is not the first time ever since Monday. He and his family members were trying to leave the country. They had booked uh, four flights over the last 24 hours. But uh, uh, we've learned from our sources that because the immigration workers did not allow them to take the special VIP entrance and they had to take the common entrance and they were afraid to face the ire of the people because everyone uh, has been uh, raising slogans, not just protesters, but even the citizens citizens of the nation, of the country, are uh, wanting uh, both uh, President and Prime Minister to resign. Uh, they had to cancel uh, at least four flights in the last 24 hours. And now, uh, finally, with the help of the Sri Lankan uh, um, uh, Air Force, they've left for Maldives uh, they, they, in the morning at around 3 a.m and they reach Maldives. From there, they're also trying to move to another South Asian country is what we've been hearing. Only after they reach the final destination as per plans, uh, the official announcement of President Gotabaya Rajapaksha's uh, letter will be, uh, that announcement will be out only after he reaches a final destination because they want to wait till he safely arrives at a destination before formally making that announcement and that could be any time uh, later this evening is what we are understanding at this point point in time but this could change at the moment uh, here at the girl face protests continue for the 96th day and if I can ask my camera person to show you uh, they are now uh, trying to uh, uh, prepare for the celebrations these are the ladders and they are now trying to ensure that all preparations are done here uh, to celebrate once the official announcement of President Gotabaya Rajapaksha, once that is finally out, celebrations here at the Girl Face will begin and preparations for celebrations, whether it's fireworks, whether it's, uh, whether it's celebrating here and, uh, and also uh, other, other plans are still on, preparations are underway. You know, President is now trying uh, to leave from Maldives to another place. Uh, did you expect this to happen? Did you know that President will uh, leave uh, Sri Lanka before that announcement? Not coming to Sri Lanka. That is not running the Maldives. That's the problem. Did you expect this, sir? That's sorry. Did you expect that President will leave the country before he announces his resignation? Resignation uh, not coming. Oh, that is not running. Not coming to Sri Lanka. Sorry. So, uh, are you? Will you be uh, celebrating once President uh, Gotabaya Rajapaksha finally resigns? Yes, I want to resign, Rajapaksha. Will you celebrate? Oh, yes, I celebrate. Yes. Okay. Yes, okay. So where are you from? Are you from Colombo? No, I am a jail. Yes. Okay. Thank so you. Many people here are still waiting patiently. From midnight uh, here, uh, they are uh, gathering, and the uh, numbers are only snowballing uh, from midnight because they are all waiting for that uh, announcement to come in any time. But sources say that it could happen only by evening once uh, President uh, Gotabaya uh, leaves Maldives to another South Asian destination. Purnima? Only after that will an announcement of his resignation be out, is what we are hearing at this point in time. But this could change any time. Next few hours would be uh, critical to monitor uh, the whereabouts of uh, President Gotabaya Rajapaksha. Purnima, uh, for our audiences, if you could highlight two more facts for us. Was it expected that the Maldivian leadership uh, would welcome the president in the manner that they did? That's the first question. And the second question is, is there a Sri Lankan presence in the Maldives? Is there at all a threat of more protest in the Maldives?
example, heavy security deployment even in Maldives because they are uh, they are afraid that they could uh, face uh, protests there by the Sri Lankans as well, which is why Maldives was never in the plan. Uh, they, uh, in fact, were planning to go to Dubai, but that did not happen because everywhere uh, the immigration workers did not uh, help them leave, and uh, they, in fact. Uh, blocked the VIP entrances, which is why their final destination is uh, yet, uh, uh, they are yet to reach the final destination. Uh, and in the meantime, here protesters and citizens of uh, the country say that after President resigns, they also want to ensure that Prime Minister Ranil Vikramasinghe also resigns only because they feel that Ranil is a Rajapaksha man and therefore Ranil Vikramasinghe should also not run the country. Therefore, they will continue to demand the resignation of, Ra of Ranil Vikramasinghe who could become the interim president once the president officially resigns because that's as per the constitution that a prime minister then becomes the interim president. So they want the resignation of uh, Prime Minister Ranil as well. Uh, there will be celebrations if the announcement happens but after that what next? Uh, the parliament will convene and then on the 20th of July they will vote for a president. So discussions on uh, nominees for uh, the post will then uh, will then be discussed once the parliament convenes. And here at the presidential secretary you can find chorus growing louder. They are now placing banners and uh, they are uh, calling. Uh, this is a Tamil uh, banner that they are uh, that they are trying to place, and this uh, means that it's the people's protest, people's movement. Uh, that's uh, that's what you can see on the screen. And this is a Tamil banner, and they are raising slogans against Gotabaya Rajapaksha, saying "Go to go home." That's the chorus that you can hear everywhere at the golf face and across the country. Country. They are now they are now waiting for every minute to see when the president will then resign. Purnima, looking into the future, I want to understand from you. You said that by July 20th, the country will possibly be looking at a new president. But you've also highlighted that the process to elect the new president will largely be a parliamentary one. You've brought us interviews with citizens from Sri Lanka where again and again it's been highlighted that they want an outsider. They don't want someone who's a well-known political face as their next leader. How will the process that's set to take place by July 20th, how will that fulfill that need that civilians in Sri Lanka have for a new face? Well, having new faces uh, could not be an immediate measure because right now what the country needs is political stability because uh, they are now trying to seek a bailout from uh, the IMF and uh, they are now sitting on a 51 uh, billion uh, debt and that's something uh, that should be the focus for uh, whoever now becomes the president uh, because that's the priority and po political stability is something that uh, uh, that people want. Therefore, having new faces could only happen once there is political stability once uh, Sri Lanka comes out of this economic crisis. But till then, only the current parliamentarians should form an interim government uh, because many protesters feel that there should be new faces, but that could not happen immediately. The immediate, uh, the immediate step is to ensure that they appoint a uh, government without the influence of the Rajapakshas, without having loyalists of the Rajapakshas, and ensure that they focus on uh, a bailout for, uh, for uh, the country and also try and get assistance from donor countries countries like India. Therefore, the, in the long run, they want new faces. But in the short term, they want a government without the influence uh, and loyalists of the Rajapakshas. That's what uh, the, those who are leading the protest for over 95 days tell us at this point in time. Uh, so, you know, uh, uh, Raj, uh, Rajapaksha will be stepping down. Uh, you know, are you waiting for that moment and, you know, uh, will that happen? மாலத்தீவுக்கும் <laughs> Uh, the protester here, or the, the, the citizen of Sri Lanka here says that uh, they did expect uh, that uh, Gotabaya Rajapaksha will not come to the country because uh, the anger of people is justified and they know that they will not be able to face the people here in the country, which is why uh, they believe that he's somewhere uh, somewhere in Maldives and, uh, and, uh, and that he will never come back, at least uh, for the next few months. Uh, this is something